गाइस इट्स क्यूकले गैन विथ अनदर रॉम रिव्यू एंड दिस टाइम आई गॉट स्लिम रॉम वर्जन 2.5 आर सी वन यस द आर सी वन इज नाउ एट हैंड दैट मीन्स इट्स नो लॉन्गर इन द बीटा फेज सो लेट्स गेट इन टू द रॉम नाउ एस बीइंग अ स्लिम रॉम यू मे और मे नॉट नो व्हाट आर द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द रॉम नेमली इट्स अ रियली रियली लाइट वेट रॉम व्हिच हैज अ लॉट ऑफ फंक्शंस but not to a point that it is some it can be confused with cyanogen mod or omni rom so let's get into it now you can see the dpi is actually 240 it is it i have just flashed it again so to make the video of course so it is now at 240 you can change the dpi from uh, some settings so i'm not going to get too much into that uh let's go to the settings menu first of all in the about phone page you can see it is android 4.4.2 uh this is the kernel version the slim version weekly rc1 so you can see that build number etc it was actually released a time back uh, i couldn't actually make the video at that time sorry about that so now it does have a few extra settings but not to a point as i have said uh, that it is something akin to cyanogen mod or the unofficial cyanogen mod versions thereafter so Let's get into the settings. In the advanced settings page, you can see first of all it's the interface settings. Now, in the interface settings, you have few options. First of all, it's a battery icon. Battery icon is uh, a bit changeable. You can see battery icon with percentage, battery icon without percentage, uh, percentage only, circle, dotted circle, etc. You do have a few options. You can even select the circle animation speed, which is a great feature if you use circle battery. I don't know. Now in the notification you can see you can change in uh, hide the notification labels uh, show all labels hide carrier carrier hide wifi i normally use hide wifi because i don't normally require this one here so i can use that custom carrier label you can have that so that's pretty cool notification transparency shortcuts so something which uh, most of us use i actually use it so that is pretty cool you can have shortcuts there it is gray scaled if you select it to be so that is pretty great uh what else do we have now the slim rom quick settings is a bit different you may have used it in uh, the tamasix rom so you have different set of tiles you can see the tiles contact custom expand desktop go to sleep etc you have a lot of extra tiles but uh, a few less also uh, namely the camera tile is not in this one so yeah but it does have styles so which is one of the better propositions of using the slim rom tiles you have this one which has the tiles per row option you can have it up to 5 you can change the background colors etc so that is a good thing smart collapse smart uh, smart pull down quick pull down you do have a few options so that's pretty good background style also so that is it in the notification qs drawer status bar options have a few options you can see clock and date option you have center clock or right aligned uh, am pm indicator date etc so that is it in the status bar options so Yeah that is for the extra options in the interface now we have navigation options you can change the uh, hardware button layout by using this one you can have a custom layout for everything so that is pretty neat navigation bar is usable so that is pretty cool as i have said earlier this style of navigation bar is something which i really appreciate because i can remove all of these and have my own uh, personal apps which i really use uh at the bottom bar and you i i normally what i do is i change the dimensions for it to be really small like 30 or 24 dpi and have something at it so that is pretty great global menu settings are also available you can change what all appears in this menu you can add things you can change things you can restore even so you can have a lot of options there this is the trds function that is the real dark slim trds that's what it means okay so you do have the trds option which has it is 3.0 so you do have switch theme manual or automatic as per the light condition or in the daytime which tracks the time and does it for you so that is pretty neat function now slim rom is kind of like a uh, extra slim center is a ota service you can 
read all about the slim roms from here you can go to slim website which is slimrom.net you can go for that bug report slim irc donate to the slim rom team and go to their github to see the source codes and stuff now slim ota do does remind you of the newer versions which are coming up this is a really great feature but i guess this uh, actually downloads the full package rather than uh, kind of like a delta update so may not be functional as a omni rom update but hey still it's there that's pretty cool slim sizer is something which i really appreciate because i normally don't use slim g apps and the other g app does have a home uh, apk i normally use pa modular full g apps so it does include the home apk i normally use that home apk and remove i need to remove the nova launcher it's kind of a pain to go through a, a root explorer and find that and doing stuff but you can actually remove the uh, anything you don't want from here like i don't need nova launcher i can just tick it and remove it but do be careful because uh, if you remove something essential you will really mess it up and you have to reflash the wrong so don't tinker with it unless you have to so that's pretty something which i needed to talk about rest of the options are same you can see it does have crt animation you can uh, uh, my favorite option of course is don't show it gives you a fade animation it does have list view animation which is a new feature i don't think the previous versions had that but hey it is there notification light can be pulsated or it can be normal I'm not sure if you can really disable it. One user did ask me if you can disable the notification light. I'm not sure about that. Sorry about that. So, yeah. Yeah, I think that much is it about the ROM. Uh, again, and to do benchmark score, I would like to clarify this that it's really giving me the same amount. It's between 18,000 to 19,000. Uh, I got the average of about 18,600 expected. But the main thing which I want to... Um, convinced in the ROM is that it's great battery saver. Uh, I didn't have much of a battery drain in this ROM because well it doesn't have a lot of features. A lot of the battery draining features like active display or a lock screen notification in the bucket mode or a lot of that feature which is constantly checking for the uh, proximity sensor to be on or off. So that does drain a bit of battery. It doesn't have it. It doesn't have a lot of it doesn't have a ton of features so that it doesn't use up battery quite like the other ROM so that is pretty cool something else which I wanted to notify is that if you are if you want the advanced reboot menu it's not available in the developer section it is available in security at device administrator advanced reboot so that is where you have to go so just a tip so yeah it does have a theme style for lock screen you can have slim icon also for the lock screen so that is pretty cool this is a slim icon slim handle so that's there in the advanced option you can see it does have super user but uh it was not actually working i'm not sure why i have to flash the uh super sue script to get this working so yeah i do use fills recovery so it does have that function there so that now these are the apps with which it comes it is a really slim package uh the whole ROM fully comprises about 135 megs. The GApps package it does have a slim GApps package. If you are interested in that, you can use that. The camera app is actually a bit um, different. I mean, different as it does have a lot of other functions also. So you can see in the more options, you can see a lot of options. You have face detection, which I didn't find to be really working, but hey, it's there. You can change the storage, so that's a definite and true improvement. You do have true view, power key shutter, etc. So you do have a lot of options there. But I did find a few camera can't connect errors in the camera app. So uh, I actually found out about it yesterday that it, how important camera app is. So I'm really uh, disheartened about the KitKat camera issue. So yeah. Let me show you guys the boot animation which is actually epic. So here is the slim cat boot animation which well uh, the slim rom the slim bean boot animation was something similar but with a s like that or something like that so it's really a cool feature so that's really cool. So I guess that much is it about the rom the main thing which I want you guys to take away from this is that this is a solidly performing rom 
with a great battery life that's something which i want to highlight a lot of users have told me about the battery life of slimcat it was really cool and i can see that it is really cool so that's something which i want to stress so i guess that much is it about the rob hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye